Hey guys, welcome back to the Rev and Evan channel. Got my man Brian Wolf here. We're up in Michigan and today we're talking intake manifolds. When it comes to the Godzilla, Brian, everybody loves choices, even other types of engines. Intake manifolds are a huge part of making horsepower, part of packaging, and whether you're using a supercharger, NA, you're gonna want a different type of intake manifold as far as a long runner, short runner, location of throttle body. So there's all kinds of stuff and there's been great innovation in the intake manifold uh, market for the Godzilla. So Brian's gonna talk to us today about a new intake that's out and we're gonna show you some things. So Brian, what's up? Okay, well, first, you know, as Evan said, there's more and more companies coming to the forefront. But uh, what we've been really waiting for is a really low profile, something a package under the hood of most vehicles have a downward facing throttle body instead of an up, so it's easy to get that air into the engine right. when you're actually doing the work to uh, package it in the vehicle. Well, w one of the things is a lot of guys are swapping these engines, the Godzilla, mm -hmm. into different vehicles. And it's a truck engine, so it's a big engine and it has a real tall intake manifold on it. So again, stock intake, uh, it's like many Fords for many years, is plastic. Uh, it has a flat mounting flange so you don't distort the bore when you torque it down and really nice long runners and they're a decent volume as well. So this, in, this intake performs really well you know, to 5,000 and you can have a power peak beyond that. But it's a, it's a low RPM engine for the trucks and it continues to work very, very well at low speeds. However, as you can tell, it is a little bit taller. It does have the throttle body facing up. So when you put the throttle body on here, then you put an, a t an air uh, tube on it. And most hood lines taper down. So this area is the most critical area to be low. And on the Super Duty, of course, there's tons of room to have this throttle body face the way it does and get the air uh, from atmosphere through the air cleaner, through the throttle body into the engine. However, if you're trying to put this in a Fox body, an old Fairlane, something where hood height now becomes an issue, we have a solution. And uh, this is something we're super, super excited about. Um, working with Brian Tooley Racing, of course, everyone knows all the great products he offer for the LS. But when we were at PRI in 2021, we got a chance to start to talk to Brian and Rick Smith about you know, what could happen for the Godzilla. Because you know, Brian Tooley has been really good at getting parts to market quick and at a very attractive price. So the solution that they came up with, and we have early castings here, is to take the common plumb that they use with their LS applications, and then because it's a modular design where the runners actually bolt on, then they're basically a single tool to make this a fully cast production manifold. And uh, you know, we're gonna be expecting this in volume you know, sometime in the summer of this year. There'll be lower volume, be a ramp up of, uh, of, uh, of production. But with that um, package, it's a very, very short runner, as you can tell. So if you're doing a naturally aspirated engine, this is gonna be something that's gonna wanna peak in the 66 to 74, 7,500 RPM, depending on the camshaft, cylinder heads, and compression ratio that you're running. On the other hand, if you have a boosted application, you know, that tuning length becomes much, much less significant. And you'll see like on um, many of the radio versus the world cars, Pro 275s, X275s, all those boosted cars, you have pretty short runners because again, you don't need that Hemholtz resonator effect all the way back to atmosphere. So the other thing, nice thing about this is it's about an inch shorter from the mounting flange to the top of the intake at the highest point than the stock intake. But if you look at the front, if we bolted throttle bodies on these, it becomes significantly more than that. So the most tightest package space, the most added clearance. Um, it's a really, really cool manifold. I was super, super excited about it. But with those package restrictions, if you said, well, how does that compare to the stock intake from a performance perspective. Well, as you know, we dialed this and uh, hopefully you enjoyed those, uh, watching those polls done. But what we have here is a comparison. And you know, bottom line, below about 5,400 RPM, you're giving up horsepower and torque. Uh, about from 54 to about 6,200 RPM, uh, you're basically line on line power and torque. Then above that, that short runner uh, intake starts to take over and works extremely well. So out here around 6,700 RPM, you're picking up about 50 horsepower. At the lower speeds, you're giving that horsepower back. So 
with that, you know, it's something you got to know when you put a short rudder manifold on. If you go and say, wow, I lost low speed torque, yes you will, and you'll do that in any engine uh, that's out there. It's just the physics of what's happening. Um, but again, with this engine, because of the displacement, you're still making like 530 foot-pounds of torque, which is, is pretty good. And then, you know, you're making significantly uh, higher horsepower at the higher speed. So on a drag car, um, it's going to be great. Something you're designed to run higher RPM, it's going to work awesome. But you're going to lose, you know, at those lower speeds pretty significantly. So that's kind of a wrap on, on the summary on, on, uh, on, the, uh, on the results. And... Um, you know, again, it's going to be an intake that they're targeting, you know, under $1,000. It's going to be very comparable to their LS intakes in price. All right, we wanted to give you guys a close-up look, a real comparison between the Brian Tooley intake and a stock one, because there's different applications, different things you might want to do. The first thing you'll notice with this side-by-side -side is throttle body pointing down, throttle body pointing up. So. As uh, Evan, as you said, yeah, you know, one is pointing away. You really don't want it in a tight package under hood of a... Fairlane, must, older Mustang or Fox body, it's going to be really hard to fit this under a hood, even one with a cowl, and because as everyone knows, the front of that hood line is the lowest portion. Right. So if you didn't run an air cleaner, if you just ran it like this, you can see there's a big difference, and that's about two and five eighths of an inch. However, you know, your people are going to want to run something in it to make the transition. And if you go to this point, you're about four and three eighths of an inch different. And again, that's gonna be a really tough time to fit reasonably under the hood of a Fox body. I think you can with the right cowl induction hood, but it's a really, really tall intake. So as we go back and recap what we've said, um, you know, stock intake manifold is a wonderful intake manifold, makes super good output, 5,000 and below. And even from five to 5,500, 5,700, it's a pretty well-performing intake. Right. The issue is trying to get under the hood of stuff. What people have been waiting for and what we've been asked about a lot is when are we going to get something that's a reasonable price that I can package, right? So as we talked about, this intake came out. It should be under $1,000. And, you know, we're running this uh, on my Pro Charge Fox Body Mustang. And the cool thing is when you look at it, the intake is below the shock towers. So right. below the shock towers, you know it's going to fit on a Fox body. On a Fox body, you know it's going to fit on a uh, um, with a stock hood on. Now, of course, full disclosure, that Fox body's got motor plates. You know, I've got a dry sump oil system and right. it's mounted low. But even with um, you know more conventional mounting, I'm very very confident it's going to fit uh, under the hood of most applications. Mm -hmm. My question to you, Brian, is I know this will make big power boosted. Um, what do you think the potential is for natri aspirated with this thing? Well, you know what, we're real anxious to get this on with one of our stage two heads and our, our 175-004 cam, which is about a 264 duration intake cam at 50,000 slow lift, and with something around 11 to 1 compression ratio or higher. I think, you know, I, I would not be surprised uh, if on our dyno uh, we saw north of, you know, 700 horsepower. That's strong. With That's a hydraulic nice. roller, yep. Cool. All right, so that wraps up our talk on intake manifolds. Gives you another look at a new component for the Godzilla. We appreciate everybody checking out the channel. Got to make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you don't miss uh, any notifications when we come up with a new video. And have yourself a great day.